Hey guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss three amazing quick tricks of Microsoft Excel. Before we start the video, if you have not been subscribed our YouTube channel Microsoft Office Tutorials, please subscribe it now and press the bell icon button so that you don't miss any new incoming video. So let's start our today's tutorial. In our today's tutorial, the first quick trick that we will discuss is how to combine multiple sheets with similar format into a single Excel sheet. You can see here we have sales of different products from January till November 2020 for area 1. We have sales for area 2, sales for area 3 and sales for area 4 with similar formats. These all four sheets have sales of different areas. Let's say we want to combine sales of all these four areas into a single sheet. How we can combine sales or data of all these four sheets into a single sheet? To combine data of all these four sheets, what we will do, we will just create a new sheet in which we will combine data of all these four sheets. Let's say we will write here total sales. So now we will combine sales of all these four areas into this sheet. So what we will do simply first of all we will go to any of these sheets we will simply copy data we have been copied we will come back to sheet in which we will uh, combine all of these sheets we will just right click we will simply paste here values again we will right click we will go to paste special again paste special in paste special window we will just check these formats and we will go for ok now you can see we have been brought here similar format that we have in all these four sheets as we need to combine all these values or all sale values so we will just simply delete these all sale values now we want to combine sales values here for all these four areas what we will do simply first of all we will just insert here equal sign and we will go to first sheet and we will just select this cell and we will press enter now we have been brought sales of in area 1 for face mask for in January 2020. Now as we need to combine sales of all these four areas, what we will do, we will just go into this uh, cell, we will just after area 1, we will just insert colon, we will insert area 4, the name of last sheet and now as we need to combine or we need to sum sales of all these four sheets, we will just insert here some formula and then, then we will just insert bracket and we will press enter and now these are sales of uh, face mask in January 2020 in all these four areas we will simply drag from left to right and then from top to bottom and then hit below simply we will just insert some formula or simply we will press alt plus equal sign and here we have some of all these sheets and now in this sheet we have this combined we have combined sales of all these areas just to quickly or cross check our data or our results what we will do we will just uh, add total sales of all these areas just to make sure that our result is okay so as per our calculation or as per our working this is total sales in all these four areas so we will just check uh, by another way we will insert here equal sign and then we will select sales total sales in area 1 plus we will go to second sheet total sales in area 2 plus then area 3 sheet total sales in area 3 plus again area 4 sheet then we will select total sales in area 4 sheet and we will press enter and now by some formula we know that 1.1 million is total sales in all these four areas and this is exactly same as per our working so means our working is okay so you can see how easy and how simple is to combine data from different or multiple sheets with similar format into a single sheet so this was our first quick trick our second quick trick is how we can let excel know that what is exactly the format of our dates or how we can adjust dates in microsoft excel you can see here we have here sales data on different dates let's say i have been exported this data from any application or from any software we know that whenever we export data from any application 
or from any software into excel or we take data from internet and we bring into excel most of the times most of the times excel makes mistake to understand format of dates let's say for example for these dates it is easily understandable that from left to right the first one or two number is for date you can see here one two three on left side one two three four till 15 so means these are dates then after slash 10 is for month right that is october then after slash we have 2020 that is for year this is easily understandable but let's say i will just select these dates i want to change format of these dates i will go to home tab then i will go to more number formats let's say i will change i want to change into let's say day two times d for day then dash three times m for month then dash three times y for year as we discussed first two numbers are for date second two numbers are for month then year so it should show as first october 2020 then second october 2020 then third october 2020 and so on till 15th october 2020 but when i will go for okay you can see here this is showing me 10 january 10 feb 10 march mean it is considering month as date and date as month so i will just undo this one simple solution is if you have uh, less number of cells one solution is you just change format or you just change order of these numbers let's say you will just write 10 then 0 1 then 20 20 and so on then 10 0 2 20 20 you can just write in this order but this is not smart work this is just like hard work let's say if you have more than maybe 1000 cells how you can adjust this it is impossible so how we can let excel know that for all these cells on left side we have day then we have month then we have year how we can let excel know this format to solve this problem we will select all these cells in which we have dates we will go to data tab in data tab we will go to text to columns in text to columns we will just go to next again next and here you can see date we will just check this box and here excel is considering that before on left side we have month that is m then we have day then we have year now we will just make correction for excel we will just make correction that first we have on left side day then month then year we will go to finish and now you can see it has been changed some order again let's say we try again we go to home tab we want to change format more number formats custom let's say day month year so now it should show, show as 1st october 2nd october and so on we will go for ok and here we go now we have been adjusted our dates or we have been let excel know that this is the exactly format of our dates so this was our second quick trick our third quick trick is that how we can just make arrangement to auto update serial numbers you can see this is a uh, let's say pay sheet or salary sheet of our company for example so let's say we have here let's say three employees that resigned let's say I, I will just remove these three employees because these have been resigned so whenever i will just remove an employee i need to adjust these serial numbers again because you can see one till nine and because i have been removed three employees so after nine it is 13 so i need to adjust this manually how we can just make this automate that whenever we uh, remove anything just this serial number auto update so how we can do this we will just simply write in first cell of serial number we will just write formula or function row you can see here we have been written here formula or function row enter it is showing five why it is showing five because this is in fifth row so what we will do we will just minus four because it is fifth row and serial number is starting from here from fifth row before fifth row we have four uh, rows in which we don't have any serial number so we will just minus 4 because we don't have serial numbers in first four rows so we will press enter now it is showing serial number as one so we will just click here two times or we will drag down let's say i will click here two times and now our seri serial number field is fully automated to check this i will just delete from here let's say we have here these employees as resigned we will just remove these employees we will just delete these rows and you can see here this is auto updating again we will just delete some rows and it is auto updating now we don't need to bother about 
serial numbers we just need to adjust our page sheet and our serial numbers will be auto updating so friends this is our third quick trick of microsoft excel so friends if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials don't forget to press bell icon button also don't forget to share this video with your friends thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye